Over here on the right side, you see a cell, it's supposed to be a cell, um, a nucleus in the middle here, and this arrow here is referred to as a scale bar. I mentioned it over here, that's a scale bar. And I'm go now going to show you how to do calculations using these sc scale bars. And the question is the following, a scale bar with a length of two centimeters on paper represents five micrometers. What's the magnification? So we're not even worried about the cell over here. We're just looking at the scale bar and you can do magnification calculations only using scale bars. Now, I told you that the length is two centimeters on your screen. Of course, the length will be different depending on how uh, much you enlarged uh, the video that you're watching right now. Um, but I'm simply giving you this information right now so that I can uh, use uh, these values uh, as an example. So the magnification formula is as follows. The magnification is um, you divide the two centimeters by the five micrometers. And you simplify and uh, you've essentially got uh, the answer. Um, so again, we convert everything to meters, two times 10 to the negative second meter, meters, it's plural, um, divided by five times 10 to the negative six meters, the meters cancel. That's always one of the nice things uh, that you can cancel uh, units as well. And magnification is a unitless uh, value. So there shouldn't be any units left over. So we removed the 10 to the minus 6 by getting it over to the other side. So we have 2 divided by 5. And here at the top we have times 10 to the power of negative 2 plus 6. We simplify yet further, equals 2 times 10 to the 4th divided by 5 equals, now what is that? That is 20,000 divided by 5 and that's fairly simple. The answer is 4,000. The magnification is 4,000. So. The purpose of uh, this example number two is, is to do, show you that you can do size calculations completely ignoring the cell itself, the specimen itself, and only looking at um, the scale bar. So that was basically um, example number two. We remember the magnification of uh, 4000 uh, because we need this value for example number three and for this purpose I'm going to erase all my math over here and next one okay what is the maximum size of the cell now okay so remember the magnification was 4000 And uh, we now would like to know the maximum size. So that is the specimen size, which we write down here at the bottom. So that's uh, my X value. And here we have to write at the top, we have to write now the in centimeters the size of this cell. And uh, that is now the qu big question. What is the size of this uh, cell in centimeters? I have not uh, given this information here, you have to measure it out and I'm telling you right now that the size on your paper is 5 centimeters, well rather on your uh, computer monitor. Um, so it's 5 uh, centimeters um, across and this uh, value you need uh, to insert over here, 5 centimeters. And now you can uh, solve uh, for x. And over here, I've made a mistake because, of course, the 4000 is the magnification and there's an equal sign missing. 
Okay, so there's got to be an equal sign. Now, that looks even worse. It looks like there is a fraction over here and a minus over here. So, no. That's always the source uh, for mistakes. Okay, sloppy, um, sloppy drawing and sloppy writing is a source of, uh, for mistakes. So, how do you solve for x? You can exchange the x with a 4000. So, we have the following situation. x is equal to... 5 centimeters divided by 4,000. You convert this again into meters. 5 times 10 to the negative second meters divided by 4,000. Do you actually know notice a second sloppy problem over here? Does this time sign look a little bit like the x over here, like a variable? Okay, bad idea, right? So I'm going to erase this and I'm going to draw over here a multiplication dot. Okay, um, not to be confused with a decimal point now. Okay, so we're, that's always one of these issues. Sloppy writing is a source for errors. Let's try to simplify this. Uh, this is uh, 5 times 10 to the minus 2. This down here, meters, this down here is four times, okay, we got to be consistent. Four times ten to the power of three. Um, we reverse, uh, we try to uh, change uh, the position over here. So, and what we have then is, is we have five over four. times 10 to the power of negative 5 okay because we change uh, the sign minus 2 negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5 and then meters so um, let's uh, try to um, simplify this yet further 5 divided by 4 is equal to 1.25 times 10 to the negative 5 meters. Hmm, that's a very, how shall I say, not a way, very nice way of expressing a uh, cell size. So what we do now is the following. I want to convert this to micrometers. And we remember that a micrometer it has 10 to the minus 6th. So if I make this 10 times smaller, if I convert this part here to 10 to the minus 6th, I have to make this one here 10 times larger, so I do not change the overall value. So let's make this part over here 10 times larger. That would be 12.5. Uh, 12.5. Times 10 to the negative 6 meters. I have not changed the, the value around because I've made this one 10 times larger, I made this one 10 times smaller. Overall, it doesn't change, but now I can do the following 12.5 micrometers. Okay, and that is the answer. Nice decimal dot. Okay, the maximum size of the cell is 12.5 micrometers. Let's make a common sense check. Look at this over here. From over here to over here, it's 5 micrometers. From over here to over here, it's got to be another 5 micrometers. And from over here, uh huh, see, it's uh, short. It must be. Uh, 2.5 micrometers and if you add everything up uh, then you get your 12.5 micrometers so the common sense check um, also um, seems to be um, correct so um, let's move on to the next example um, and now um, there is a multiple choice question over here and, and we're not going to use any math. We're just going to solve this without doing any divisions or any math. A cell has a size of 10 micrometers. It's drawn with a size of 10 centimeters. 
what is its magnification and many people instinctively start to um, calculate but that's not necessary because um, over here let's look at the values a magnification of 1 10 divided by 10 is 1 is of course wrong because the people forget in this, forgot in this case of course to convert the units and a magnification of 1 means that there is essentially no magnification it's the same size so forget about it this doesn't make sense um, 10,000 is the correct answer it's the only large value over here but let's eliminate C and D also over here C is a value which is significantly less than 1 and this means that it's even smaller than the original specimen size then that's not a magnification and you get values which are smaller than the one if you um, divide it the wrong way around so a magnification which is smaller than one is out what about 10 a 10 time magnification is not sufficiently large because you're drawing it with 10 centimeters and if you make it 10 times smaller then the cell would be one centimeter across but it's not it's much much smaller it's 10 micrometers across so this one would not pass the common sense test either and the only reasonable answer is, is answer b 10,000 so just to show you that it is possible to eliminate certain um, answers even without having to do a cell size uh, uh, calculation last example a cell has been drawn with a magnification of 5,000 and the drawing is 5 centimeters large. What's the size of the cell? Here, um, essentially, I'm giving you the magnification. You have to find out the size of the cell. Same story, 5,000 is equal to 5 centimeters divided by x. We change the places over here. This means x is equal to 5 centimeters divided by 5,000. We convert everything into meters. 5 times 10 to the power of negative 2 meters divided by 5 times 10 to the power of negative 3 no units okay we're not going to run a units here there are no units here and we do the following where do i continue I just continue over here the five cancels that's nice i basically get the 10 to the minus 3 over here um, on the other side it means 10 to the minus 2 or negative 2 plus uh, okay do you notice my mistake over here Look at this, is 5,000 5 times 10 to the negative 3? No, of course not, look at this. Sloppy mistake, okay? Okay. So, I admit now, um, I actually really made this mistake. Um, other people would say, well, I was just checking if you were paying attention or not. I'm not gonna say that. I'm just gonna admit that I really made a sloppy mistake. So, minus three equals 10 to the power of and i made another mistake already in case uh, you didn't realize of course because i forgot the meters okay so um that is uh the uh the id over here let me check if this is even correct okay so if I change this around to the other side, so I have 10 to the negative 5 uh, meters. And uh, now how does uh, this work now? How can we convert this into micrometers? We, we can convert this um, into uh, micrometers by that is 10 times larger than a micrometer. So this means we have the following is equal to if we make this one over here 10 times smaller we have to make this, this one here 10 times larger so it is 10 times 10 to the minus sixth meters and that is 10 micrometers so the 
um, answer should be uh, 10 uh, micrometers okay so don't forget about the meters here and this was really a sloppy mistake but I figured it out uh, in the right time because I saw that the values that I got should I'm get, getting over here don't make sense okay so that's basically um, um, yeah some examples over here um, concerning magnification calculations and uh, don't forget uh, to convert units. I think that's uh, the basic uh, take home message because I've had so many students who immediately jumped into the calculations, they divided the numbers and they completely forgot about the units. We're not in math class right now, we're in science class and in science the units are really important. I know that uh, sometimes uh, I've had students um, when I see them doing math assignments, they simply do the calculations um, without even including any units. Um, and basically because uh, as long as the values are correct at the end, uh, they're satisfied. I'm telling you, no, you should not uh, do that. Always include the units as well directly in your calculations. Okay, that was basically it.